Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So during our live sessions and in our comment section, I have seen many students mention that sir, I am feeling very bored while revising a particular subject. I am not able to complete my revision. How to do revision? The simple answer, like I will say the simple answer is study. That is how you do revision, right? Yes, revision is boring. I do agree. It happens with everyone. It happens with me. I will not lie with you. I'll be realistic. It happens with me as well. If I have already studied a particular topic, again, going back and going through the notes, it is very, uh, like a very boring task. I do agree. But you can actually make it interesting. So if it feels boring, that is totally fine. It happens with everyone. Try to make it interesting. How can I make it interesting? Maybe you can set few targets, set few realistic targets that uh, in the two hours, I will be done with topic X and Y. Let's say from analog electronics, I will finish the revision of diode circuits. I will go through my notes and I will finish the revision. If you feel like it is not productive, you're not able to be productive while just going through your notes, then what you can do, you can move to solving questions. Solving questions is also a very good way to do revision. Let's say you want to revise diode circuits. So how I used to do it, is initially when I was solving the gate PO IQs of diode circuits, whichever questions I felt were interesting, were good, were very conceptual, were a bit difficult, I used to star mark them. I had three star, two star, single star, right? Whatever you want to do, you can just simply mark them as well. Then now three, four months has been passed, right? Since I have solved those questions. Now what I will do to revise a particular subject, I will directly go and try to solve those questions. If I'm able to solve it, that means great. Whatever I know is retained in my memory. But if I'm not able to solve those questions, then what I will do, I will just simply move to my full notes and solve those particular, uh, revise those, those particular topics. That's how you can make it interesting. Make it uh, like a bit of uh, gamify, gamify, right? Because Gen Z students, they lo love to gamify stuff. So you can gamify that. Now, uh, this was the one, one of the way with which you can make it interesting. Another way is, let's say you already have uh, like a word control system, right? And but you still are not very confident while solving questions. So maybe if you have covered it from educator X, you can cover it from educator Y from the crash course from YouTube. Okay, you can cover our crash course RPYQ control systems has been covered network theory AC part has been covered engineering mathematics has been covered. Uh, updated also there are PYQ videos so you can cover it from us or any other educator right then what will happen automatically once the educator will start the video right what they will do first they will teach you the concept okay you listen to the concept and then they will uh, bring you some questions so don't watch the solution pause the video try to solve it and then watch the solution that's also a very good way to revise a particular topic so these are the two effective ways in which you can uh, make your revision very interesting and you'll not feel bored and you'll revise your subject as well and of course you're studying as well also your practice is happening so and then third way third way to do revision is suited is through test series so first point would be to solve the difficult PYQ questions then you can watch the crash course videos from any other educator because if you have already studied from educator x you may not want to watch that video again so you can watch a educator y video and from that you can study and the third point would be test series simply attend the test series find out your weak areas and then go and improve and study those weak areas that is a good feedback for your revision so these are the three methods in which you can revise any particular subject thank you and i will see you in the next video until then happy learning